Okay, boys and girls, we're just going to take a very quick look at world biomes. That's a word that uh, we went ahead and put on your social studies map. And if you look right here, here's a great map of the world, and it's color-coded according to the biomes. Um, if you'll notice, we have the tundra right up here at the top, and the tundra is the Arctic area. Uh, very, very cold. Very few humans live there. Um, if you chose chose a country like um, Iceland, you might um, you might be in the biome of the tundra. Uh, taiga is right below um, the tundra. It's a little bit warmer, but still very, very cold. Um, it has uh, needle forests, and so that means like pine trees, like you know what a lot of people get for Christmas trees, um, and you'll get pine cones in those trees. So a needle forest is um, a taiga. Grasslands, uh, we have the you know many of those in the United States. It's great farming country. Um, uh, you know, as people moved across the prairie in the United States, that's a very famous westward movement across the plains um, of the United States. You even hear it in some songs. And so here are the plains of the United States. You have some over in Europe, uh, some in Russia and China, here in, um, in southern Africa and a little bit in South America. And let's see, we also have deciduous forest. These are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, right up here, this is where I grew up, right up here, right around the Great Lakes. Uh, here's Ohio right here. So these are the types of forests that I played in when I was little. Found lots of turtles there. Uh, got bit a couple times by turtles um, uh, in, in the forest up there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful fall foliage. You know, the reds and the, uh, and the oranges and the, the purples even uh, falling off the trees. Absolutely beautiful. And so you see deciduous forests actually are more than in just the United States. Beautiful deciduous forests in um, Europe as well. Uh, chaparral is really tiny. Look at that little dot right there and look at that little dot right there. This is kind of, you know, it actually looks kind of familiar uh, because it looks very deserty. Um, it, sometimes people refer to it as wild, rest, wild west. Um, so chaparral, is, it's actually a very, very small area. We're not going to have very many of those. Uh, desert, we're very familiar with here in, uh, in Texas, especially if you go to West Texas. Um, you have uh, the sand of the desert. A lot of deserts in Northern Africa, a lot of deserts in Australia, South America, uh, Southern Africa, and here in the United States and, and across Europe. And so desert is a very dry, very hot, um, a lot of sand. You know, plants are adapted uh, special to live in the desert because they don't need as much water. Um, desert scrub, very um, similar to the desert, a little bit more growth there, a little bit more trees. Savannah, this one kids are usually very familiar with because you have the, you know, Lion King opening of the movie on the savannah where you have the birth of the baby lion cub and all of the animals of the savannah bow down to, you know, Mustafa uh, or Mufasa, I guess, Mufasa and Simba. Um, and so that scene in Lion King is the savanna, very majestic, beautiful animals, lions and zebra herds and, you know, hyenas lurking about trying to get the scraps uh, from the food cycle there. Um, you have the rainforest. This is really interesting to note. The rainforest pretty much cuts across the equator. That's because the rainforest needs um, the most sunlight, and the equator gets the most sunlight around the world. Uh, and so you're going to always find your rainforest right around the equator. And one final one, the alpine. Holy cow. This, okay, this is um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, the alpine is, you know, beautiful mountains. Uh, Miss Hardy can definitely talk to kids about um, alpine forests. Uh, she's very, very familiar with them. Uh, these uh, we have in very western United States, and you have uh, down in South America. Probably the most beautiful are, are in this region here in Europe, and um, you know, you have some more over in Russia and in China, but these are just, you know, where you have, you know, you think of the sound of music and you, you think of um, just the gorgeous skiing and uh, you, you just want to sit by a lodge and, a, you know, by a fire and you have hot cocoa. Uh, that's kind of the idea that Alpine brings up. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, so all you need to do is kind of take a look and see where is your, where is your country? Uh, where in the world is it? And, you know, what is the biome that your country kind of sits in? And you notice that some countries are going to be more than one. Here we have the United States. We have like five biomes, and that's totally okay. List the ones that you see. It's just an introduction to the word, an introduction to the idea that ecosystems can occur on a really big scale. All right. Have fun.